Alright, it's uh sorry. It's like twenty after three in the morning. Uh I woke up at three oh one with the most horrible dream. I recorded as much as I could describing the dream. But the more I think about it, I don't think that's what I was supposed to do. I think that I was supposed to tell about the whole, not the whole, like bits and pieces, but the whole, what the whole thing meant. I always associate three in the morning with evil. It's the opposite of the time that our father was crucified and always bad stuff seemed to happen at three in the morning. But, the dream was a warning of what's going to happen. We are all in danger. Grave danger. In the dream, it ended up with me being shot. I felt the bullets hit my fingers. I felt myself die. I watched my eyes gloss over. I also make it, remember making the decision that like I was hiding at the time and I remember thinking there's no hiding it's just time I don't remember exactly what I said I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the effect of send me home or father I'm coming home or it's finally over I'm coming home something throughout the dream I was being followed at the be I was confined and in the dream and when I first woke up and recorded it I thought well maybe it was like a group home or did it it was because I'm a Christian I think because I don't know if the other people in there were me were but I'm taking this as a warning from God of what is about to happen It's about to get very bad for some of us, some people. I don't know if it's like this is what will happen if you don't accept Jesus and I'm supposed to tell or if this is what's going to happen to the people that are left behind when our Father comes. Whatever the case may be, it was horrible. Horrible. The world was a mess. There was orgies in the streets, and it was like Caligula, Caligula of Rome, like or Babylon, which we're just about at Babylon anyway. <clears throat> but there was absolutely no inhibitions, no order just chaos and everybody thought it was great <laughs> if they only knew he is coming our father is on our on his way now so for everybody out there that's listening doesn't believe in Jesus you better start because we're running out of time I have a couple other videos posted that describe my experiences with God I'm still work trying to make more because I really feel like it's important that I get some of my backstory in because of the person that I was and the things that I did that God still showed me the things that he showed me and still loved me as much as he did because I know there's a lot of people out there who were just like me at one point God won't love me I'm a piece of shit excuse my language but I felt like that for a very 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 long time even though I read the Bible and knew that God hung out with prostitutes and tax 
collectors and chose Saul, who it's my favorite book. Paul, Saul of Tars, Sars, sorry, I'm half asleep. He killed God's children. And God still appeared to him and showed him the truth, which he did for me too. I saw heaven. I felt him stand behind me. I have had him wash over me five, six, seven times. I, I've lost count. But the major ones, the ones that really stick out of my head, is what I'm trying to get recorded and posted for people. But it seems like there's always something in my way. No matter what you've been led to believe, what you think, there is nothing that you could have done that God will not forgive. He loves us more than you can even imagine. I thought the same thing. Why us? Why me? I don't deserve it. I deserve to go to hell. There are people who give their lives to God that never, ever, ever even get to feel Him. Who go only on faith. I've seen a glimpse of heaven. I've felt God constantly constantly more and more lately too like almost every single day I feel him and you know it's God excuse because you get that chill and every hair on your body stands up and your eyes fill with tears and there's nothing you can do to stop it I watched a video today by a girl VP saved by grace that put me on my knees like I dropped it sounded like somebody dropped a brick I hit my knee so hard Thank you, by the way, if you ever get to see this video. Thank you. He is real. And he's really coming. We get to go home. I cry just thinking about it. It's so beautiful. And I didn't see the pearly gates and angels and cherubs and streets of gold. He just opened up the sky a little bit and this feeling of love that came out. I don't care if I don't even get to see the rest. That feeling was indescribable. Well, it is describable, but there's no way to truly convey what he really is or what the feeling really was <clears throat> I don't know what else I'm supposed to say right now that video was a warning or yeah video dream time's running out seems like I'm saying that a lot not coming from me. I'm going to go give my son a kiss and go to bed. Please, 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 please believe me. Now is the time. Anybody that sees this, please pray for me because I feel like I'm being attacked. God bless. Good night.